Mm -hmm. There are three major reasons why we are using VLAN. The first one is it reduces the amount of CPU. How? Because we are dividing the entire switch into multiple pieces, right? One, two, three pieces I'm dividing. In case of any broadcast comes, the broadcast says stays within that zone only. So less number of broadcast, which means less number of um, less amount of CPU usage. Second is flexible design. See, as someone told, we can create multiple user departments with the help of flexible designs or by groups that work together instead of the instead of by physical location. Like in a single switch, I can create multiple department. Like someone told, told well, like HR department, manager department, employee department, we can divide a single switch into multiple pieces. Ease of troubleshooting. See, when I say ease of troubleshooting, to solve problems more quickly because the failure domain for many problems is the same set of devices as those in the same broadcast domain. What do I mean to say? If I'm having some users in this particular domain, I'm having some more users here and here. In this case, when the problem occurs in this VLAN 10, you will not come and check VLAN 20 or 30 and all. It will be problem in this VLAN 10 only. So you will verify only these particular links. Okay. So three major reasons why we are using the VLANs. Next, let's understand creating multi-switch VLAN using trunking. Before that, I want to... Okay, let's explain this only. See, imagine that you have two different switches. Answer this question. Everyone say yes or no. Don't be silent. Okay. I don't know about Tejas class, but my class, every student should reply. Okay. Because I'm not, I'm very strict. Okay. 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 So imagine that it, I am, I am in VLAN. It's the, I have one PC in VLAN 10. Okay. I am in VLAN. It's VLAN 20 PC. It is VLAN 10 PC. It is VLAN 20 PC. Okay. Clear. So tell me PC A and PC B. Both are in same VLAN. Can I ping from PCA to PCB? Yes or no? There are 10 students. 10 students reply. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, Someone said no. Who said no? Uh, Harsha. Explain Harsha why? Uh, I think uh, that's where trunking comes in into picture, sir. Okay. When, yeah, when it is in same switch. Okay. Yeah, something you said. VLAN ID is same as the both side. Yeah, good. So, so cause VLAN ID is the same. Hai. Then why it won't ping? Again, it's a debatable point. It will flood. Will it flood? Different in every VLAN. So I told a slogan about VLAN. What slogan is that? Two different VLANs do not communicate by default. Yes? Yes, yes sir. Hello, sir. So, by default, all port belongs to which VLAN? It is VLAN number one. Right. So, which means this port belongs to which VLAN? 
it is VLAN number one, which means when the traffic comes from VLAN 10, can it even cross VLAN one, first of all? No, a very big no. It cannot. Why? Because two different VLANs do not communicate. So in this case, how can I solve the problem? Simply I will use, simply I will use one more link. 10, 10. Now can they ping? The answer is yes. The traffic will come like this. It will go like this. It will go here. But can VLAN 20 PCs, PCC and PCD, can they communicate now? No, bro. Yes, sir. Now yes, still Ashoka says yes. Uh, sir, I, VLAN ID is same as for C and D. You are sleeping. No, you no, no. <laughs> Ashoka, what happened? Just now I told, right? It's a different network. Network name is same. So, I told PCA to PCB, the ping will not work. That's because we had only one link, which is, which is of by default VLAN one only. Right? Yes, no, no, no. Chin Kumar is selling something outside. Chin, mute, mute. So, so I, what I told is that I'm having VLAN 10, I'm having VLAN 10 here also, but the traffic from VLAN 10, it will not go B. Why? Because this port by default, all port belong to VLAN number one only, right? Which means this VLAN 10 traffic won't even cross VLAN one interface. Then how it will go here? So I need to either make these ports as VLAN 10 or I have to use the new link between the switches and configure this link as VLAN 10. Then only the communication will go via this link. Am I clear, Ashoka? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Clear. Now you tell me, can VLAN 20 PCs, can they ping each other now? No, sir. No. What I have to do? Again, same configuration. One more link I have to put and configure them as a VLAN 20. Because what if I'm having, what if I'm having VLAN 30, VLAN 40, VLAN 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. In that case, I need to have 10 links between them for each VLAN 1P, one link. Yes. That's a bad thing. Not bad. So I'm going to have 10 links which is quite not possible because if I'm having 100 VLANs in one switch, 100 VLANs in another switch, in that case, you have to have 100 links between them. It's not possible. Nothing can happen worse than this in 2024. Very happy new year to all. Bully again. I just woke up actually today only. So, I don't know. So, that's why, that's why the hero comes. The hero ka naam hai trunk. Now I can configure this one single port, which was part of VLAN number one between the switches as trunk port. What is the trunk port basically? See, trunk port is a port in which, in a uh, trunk port is a port in a switch which can carry multiple VLAN traffic in the in itself. So I can carry VLAN ten traffic, twenty traffic, thirty traffic, all traffic in one link. That is called trunk port. Now, what is access port? Access port is a port in which switch can carry only single VLAN traffic. See, listen carefully. Normally, between the switches, whenever we connect a link, right, we always use or configure it as a trunk port only. And whenever a PC connects to a port, we always configure it as a access port. So access port can carry single VLAN traffic. Trunk port can carry multiple VLAN traffic. Now, how do I configure a port as a trunk port? Very simple. Go inside the interface, the main interface, and configure them as a 
स्विच पोर्ट मोड ट्रंक इजी दैट्स इट इज इट क्लियर यस सर सर फर्स्ट एक्सेस पोर्ट देन ओनली एनेबल ट्रंक पोर्ट सर बट डिफॉल्ट एवरीवन इज एक्सेस पोर्ट ओनली we have to make the ports which are connecting two switches as trunk ports evlo muskar is it clear next <clears throat> let's understand one thing here okay see i told between the switches whenever we connect a link we configure them as a trunk port because it carries multiple vlan traffic right but the question i am going to ask you now is see i am having vlan 10 PC, we learn 10 PC. It will be on 20 PC. 20 PC. Imagine a traffic is coming from this PC number one. It is coming all the way to the switch. This link is going here. Now, when this traffic is coming right, how does my switch two knows that this particular traffic is for VLAN 10 PCs only? What if it sends it to VLAN 20 PCs? this is a problem are you guys getting the problem yes or no yes. sir repeat again sir that's what <clears throat> ashok turn on your camera sachin and sridish uh, sadish also turn on the camera i'm repeating again listen carefully everyone please when i'm having a link between the switches imagine pc10 is sending a traffic it is coming all the way to my trunk port and it is going to switch to if this traffic this traffic is from vlan 10 only how does my these pcs will know about it what if my this traffic is been sent to vlan 20 pc which is against the rule or thumb rule that says two different vlan should not talk understood the question or the problem we are having so if any creating the rules for that no the question is darshan you understood the problem or not first of all i understand understood the answer i'll give first okay. i want to make sure you understood the problem i'll just give you the answer now inshallah others please respond yes or no in chat or you can talk um, sir i am not getting question sachin that's what the problem sachin satish and ashoka please turn on your videos yes sir yes sir thank you ashoka sachin you are sir. Sir, my camera is not working. Sir, yes. camera. School, my school camera. time. I am sick today. If I tell, you will believe. Ah. <laughs> okay. So kindly consider the class, guys, because I'm just giving a small information, which is not even like it's a very very basic things I'm telling. But if you are unable to get the point, I'm pretty sure that you're not concentrated in the class. Okay, and Sachin Satish, you guys are running third session, right? So make sure you complete your batch in this batch at least. Don't postpone again. So once again, I'm repeating. Okay. 
विलांटेन 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 विलांट ट्वेंटी एंड विलांट ट्वेंटी इफ पीसी ए इस सेंडिंग अ ट्रैफिक तू माय स्विच सो इन दिस केस हाउ डज माय स्विच तू नोज दैट दिस ट्रैफिक इस फॉर विलांट एंड पीसी ओनली नॉट फॉर विलांट ट्वेंटी सो दिस वी डोंट नो बट बट डिफ़ॉल्ट ऑल योर ट्रंक पोर्ट्स सपोर्ट समथिंग कॉल्ड व्हील एंड टैगिंग व्हील एंड टैगिंग सेस व्हेन अवर ट्रैफिक्स कमिंग फ्रॉम अ पर्टिकुलर व्हील एंड व्हेन इट टचेस द ट्रंक पोर्ट द ट्रंक पोर्ट विल ऐड एडिशनल टैग ऑन टॉप ऑफ इट्स डेटा इनफॉरमेशन द हेडर द ट्रंक पोर्ट विल ऐड एडिशनल टैग ऑन टॉप ऑफ द हेडर इनफॉरमेशन So by adding this, the neighboring switch can understand that this VLAN for VLAN twenty, it is for VLAN ten, like that. It's like a adding a sticker. Am I clear? Yeah. Like an yeah. adding, adding additional data. Okay, so this is called VLAN tagging concept. Luckily, it runs automatically, so you no need to worry about configuring anything like that. Okay, that's called VLAN tagging. Now the question is, where does this tagging happens? See, it is the Ethernet frame header. When I say header, na, what is header first of all? See, imagine that you buy a कॉर्ड बीरो बीरो क्या बोलते हैं बीरो बीरो मींस अंडरस्टैंड राइट इट्स इंग्लिश वर्ड ना तमिल वर्ड आ गई वार्ड्रॉप करेक्ट या वार्ड्रॉप तो इन द वार्ड्रॉप यू क्या सम स्पेसेस हियर यू कैन कीप योर ड्रेस क्लोथ्स हैंगिंग हियर लाइक दिस हैंगिंग क्लोथ्स यू गोना कीप योर शूज इन द शू बॉक्स स्पेस सम स्पेस फॉर योर वॉचेस सम स्पेस फॉर योर पैंट some space for notebooks and some spaces so you have dedicated spaces for each and every categories of things you're going to buy right in similar way in the packets also frames also we are having specific places for the details that we needed to deliver a packet for example destination address source address type data and fcs These are all separate places. Whenever you create a package called data, in addition to data, we're going to add these information on top of it. If you are sending a data from PC one to PC two, it will carry type code, FCS, source address, and destination address also. Okay, and eight zero two point one Q tag. This eight zero two point one Q tag will actually carry your VLAN information. So if you see carefully, destination address, source address, type, data, and FCS, they don't have a space to carry your VLAN information. So here, they can carry VLAN information inside something called tag field. Which is eight zero two point one Q field. This you have to buy hard or remember. In interviews, they will ask you the question. Coming Friday, we are having mock interview also because we have uh, almost done some topics. So we will be asking this question also to you. Next is the concept of native VLAN. Sir, one submission. Yes, suggestion. Tell me. Ah, eight zero two point one Q means. Uh, 
अच्छा इट्स अ मॉडल नंबर व्हाट फोन आर यूजिंग सॉरी सर व्हाट मोबाइल फोन आर यूजिंग एंड्रॉइड मॉडल सर आई एम आस्किंग मोबाइल मॉडल रहा मॉडल यस रेडमी डोट हैव मॉडल नंबर बिकॉज दे सेल सेम फोन डिफरेंट डिफरेंट वेराइटीज then okay for example i'm having iphone okay iphone 15 pro max bhi hai kya usme max model number see these are the numbers tech wala is told ka hai model number okay like it's like iphone 15 pro i think they having a2 chip and a3 chip in that also so they are having iphone if you go to shop and you ask a2849 model iphone i need will they understand ashoka yes sir yes sir understand so a3105 can they understand no because they don't know about the specific information see it is like that in networking also every technology has a model number in it every technology starting from ethernet cable fiber cable router switch even topics even a osp of vlans everything has a model number that's what aids 2.1q defines the tag field which are adding addition to the extra addition to the actual field the tagging field adding that right? the tagging field ka model number hai aids 2.1q technological name next is your native vlan See, whenever I think about native villa, I think about having a passport in India. Do we need passport to live in India, Indian people? No, no, no sir. Required. No, sir. In similar way, by default, which villa is there in the in the switch? By default, what is the villa in the switch? Villa one. Villa one. Villa one. Which means villa one. Whenever I am having a villa one PC. across different switch and they tried to communicate via trunk link their traffic alone will not be tagged it will go plain only why see because think carefully i think very logical thinking it is i am having 50 ports in vlan 1 in both switch. imagine i am having 50 ports if by default is vlan only does it make any sense if i tag my own native vlan so i don't need tag i will tag only my non native vlans listen carefully trunk port will tag only non native vlans vlan 10 pcs and vlan 20 pcs will be tagged if traffic is coming from a native vlan guy it will not be tagged because it takes consumes lot of memory it's a waste of my time if i try to tag it I'll ask you a simple once again example. I'll give you. Imagine there are there's a very big water pipe. Okay, very big water pipe is there. Is there like a trunk port? So very water pipe. In this water pipe, you are supplying water. Suddenly, someone says that you want to send oil also. In the same water pipe, can I put a small pipe and send that oil? Yes. Logic, right? Yes. Yes. do i need to put one more pipe to send water not require na i can send water like this only water yeah. i water will flow in this way normal pipe only the the original pipe only small pipe will put for oil this what you're doing here we no need to tag our native vlans because <clears throat> anyway non native vlans get tagged so ultimately my native vlan will work normally without disturbance now the question comes vishnu can you change your native vlan is it possible what if i want to make vlan 10 as native vlan 
if i yes it is possible actually we can change native vlan to anything i can put in vlan 10 also if i make my vlan 10 as native vlan when the traffic goes here vlan 10 traffic will not be tagged it will be untagged but vlan 1 will be tagged so whoever is native vlan only those traffic will not be tagged other traffics will be tagged okay next is your forwarding between events so this has been a very big question that how do i communicate between the vlans so i have been telling you two different vlans not communicate by default but what if what if there is a situation where i want them to communicate in that case we can use one of these following features i can use something called svi switched virtual interface i can use a router on a stick concept i can use a layer 3 port in the switches so i can use any of these for the communication between the vlans so think so out of these three options only the router on a stick is there in ccna other two are part of your ccnp So, in router on a stick concept, it's going to work like this. See, when I'm breaking one switch into two different VLANs, I'm almost breaking them into two different networks. And between two different networks, if you want to communicate, I can use router. Yes or no? I told you one day, right? Between two networks. Yes, sir. We can apply that logic here. So, but if I use two links, this link, I'll put it for VLAN 10. It is for VLAN 20. Like the, the traffic will come here. It will go like this. It will communicate. No problem. I have it. But I cannot waste two links on a router. What if I have 10 VLANs? In that case, they will end up wasting 10 links. But my router won't even have 10 ports. Yeah. It will have only two ports in it. So that is why we use a concept called sub interfaces sub interface means i can break a single router's interface into multiple interfaces and i can use it as sub interface see this is how we're going to use the lab now i'm having pc2 pc3 i'm having i'm going to use only one interface i'm going to logically break this interface into two pieces one will become fa0 slash 0 0.10 this will become fa0 slash 0 0.20 it is 0 0 0, 0 interface only one is becoming uh, dot 10 one is becoming dot 20 so now what i'm going to do i'm going to make this port as villain 10 villain 20 it is strong port basic thing this you know already okay so now I'm going to go into FA0 slash 0.10 and I'm going to configure that with an IP of 10.001, which will be the default gateway for my PC. This interface will be 20.001, default gateway of PC3. See, it's it's almost like taking one electrical wire. You have seen electrical wire, right? It will have a lot of small, small thin wires. And you are breaking them into two pieces so first you remove the insulation and you break it into two pieces don't you think that once you break it you have to again encapsulate with a new plastic yes or no yes yes sir you take electrical wire it was a very big wire thick wire and you cut them into two pieces so you do this insulation again right it is like this only one FA0 slash 0 
I'm breaking them first into 0 slash 0 0.10 and I'm encapsulating, covering it with dot 1q10. This 10 represents Villa number. This 10 represents Villa 10. I'm telling that 0 slash 0 0.10 should send receive traffic of Villa 10 only. But again, here you can see 0 slash 0 0.20. I am encapsulating dot one q twenty. Why twenty? Because it is going to service twenty VLAN traffic. So traffic will come like this because my sub interface is going to accept VLAN ten traffic. It will go inside my router. It come via like this. What if I am having one more PC with VLAN thirty? What do you think? In this interface, I'm going to have 0 slash 0 0.30 and encapsulation dot 1q command will end with what number? This will it will be 30. That's it. Easy. Then IP address I'm going to give whatever default get is having. Okay. Now, so what is the dot 1q? Dot 1q, just now. Who asked the question? Yeah, Navin. Navin Kumar. Navin Kumar. That's Here it. it is. Okay, okay. Just know I told that you. That is on. Okay, okay. <clears throat> okay. Now, the lab part. You're going to do replicate this entire lab on your packet tracer. First of all, tell me one by one. Ashoka, do you yes, have your packet tracer ready? Yes, sir. Ashoka is ready. Okay. Afraj. Yes, sir. Ready. Okay. Barrow bell. Dayanand Sahu. Harsha ready. Uh, yes, sir. I have packet tracer, but uh, now I'm using in my mobile, sir. I don't have laptop here. Uh, it's in Bangalore. I'm going to travel today there. Naveen. Harsha ready. No laptop. Naveen. Yes, sir. Is having laptop. Nitya, you yeah. Satish, Rahul, and Sachin. No, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Sachin. Yes, sir. Vinod Kumar. Yes, sir. We are having total 30 students, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yar Mispane Vinod Satish. Sir Darshan. Darshan, you have a laptop? Yes, sir. Okay. Darshan, you are new student or old student? Sir. You are new student or old student? Yes. This is your first batch, right? Yeah, no, sir. Yes, sir. Second batch for it. Okay. Anybody else name is missing? 12 students, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. Ashoka is having laptop, yes. Afra is having laptop, yes. Barabel, please reply. Yeah. Uh... Yes. Janan um, Sahu, yes. Natya, yes. Satish. Yes, I have laptop. Thank you. Rahul, no. Sachin, yes. Okay. Kindly open your packet tracer, everyone. Anyone has issue in packet tracer? Don't tell now. Okay, don't tell now. You have issue. Then have to come and fix it. Anyone having packet tracer issue? No, right? No. Great. Excellent. Do this lab. Let's see. Just take this lab and uh, take a screenshot if you want. Then uh, configure everything as per this information I'm seeing here. Once done, please let me know. Thank you.